In the Unform AP automation process, a vendor trade invoice such as this one is imported into Unform and ran through job definitions that will detect and extract text that CSD requires to have a successful match between the invoice and the purchase order. The vendor invoice are in CSD, regardless of whether you are importing trade invoices or entering them manually, requires a match down to the line level of the purchase order. So here in the data extracted by the Unform job definition, you can see that the mapping is built to include line level information, such as product ID, quantity, unit of measure, and price. Unform scripting converts this information into the XML document that CSD consumes to create the invoice transaction within the Vendor Invoice Center. Once in the Vendor Invoice Center, the imported data can be adjusted or corrected as needed. Validation can be ran on the transactions to determine which invoices have status messages and errors that need attention before the invoice may post through. In this particular case, there are a few lines that did not match because the product ID off the invoice did not match the product ID or the vendor cross-reference from the PO. When we drill into the invoice detail, you can see that the three lines that did not match still import into the data so you can see what was on the invoice originally, but they must be maintained to allow this invoice to post through. A quick hyperlink to the purchase order inquiry and a check against the invoice information that can be pulled from Unform Archive tells me that the lines that did not match were lines 10, 11, and 12 because the vendor was passing only the first part of the vendor product ID that we have set up here in CSD. These setups can be added or adjusted to allow a successful match for the next time these products are on an invoice and continually improve the matching success rate and minimize manual intervention needed on these invoices coming into CSD. For our invoice that is already in the Vendor Invoice Center, the costing can be easily fixed by removing the lines that did not match and re-adding the lines from the purchase order themselves within the Vendor Invoice Center here. So if I come into Quick Line Entry, I can put in my PO, and I already know that they're lines 10, 11, and 12. So now it's pulling the information in from the PO to match, and I just need to make sure that everything still ties to what my invoice amount was and what my invoice was actually trying to cost. If I come back out here and I validate again, my status message goes away, indicating that the invoice is ready for final update and fully costing, which I can do right here and now, and finish the cycle on this vendor invoice.